lesson on how to use the 70D DSLR camera. Okay, first thing you got to do is check out the camera for me, and then you got to get a battery and a memory card. So first we're going to put the battery in by popping open the door on the bottom, sliding the battery in with the contacts toward the top. It snaps in and holds itself in. You close the door. Take the memory card, <laughs> pop the door on the side open, and insert the card. Now you turn the camera on with this little switch here. Mode, and that is still photo mode. So you can go to video mode, which is that when you hear a click, that's the mirror locking up. Oh, go ahead and open the door on the back, flip it, bring it back so you can see it. Okay, so right now, we're going to talk about the controls for the 70D. Okay, so all the controls are down here. All the controls are down here, and we're going to have a subject here, my son and Cody. Okay, so to, to make these things, uh, to, to solve some of the issues you're going to have with exposure, you've got to make adjustments to the exposure. Obviously, this is too dark. Okay, so you can click here. That's your shutter speed. You want to keep that at 30th when you're indoor, so you don't have to change that. 5.6, you want to keep that. Okay, to reset this, is you just set the arrow back here to put to change it, or you can drag to change the shutter speed like that, or you hit the arrow to go back. Now, for here, for right now, we're going to always stay at 5.6 right here on this exposure here, and you can always lock it right there so that you don't make any more changes to it. So click on that again, but you want to leave it at 5.6 because when you zoom the lens, the exposure will change. But 5.6 is the fallback between all of those zoom ratios. So we're zoomed in right now to about 35 right here on top. And so we're going to change our exposure to match and find the proper exposure. You never want to go with auto. The only time you ever want to do that is when you're outdoor and light is changing quickly, maybe from indoor to outdoor, walking through a room. But we're going to go and click on this again, and we're going to drag this along here to get the right exposure which right now it looks to be about 1600 it's probably a little bit too dark so we'll go to 32 okay that looks all right pretty good exposure all right so uh, here's the info button up here you can push it gives you information about how it's picking up the audio as it's as you can see it's responding to my voice left and right push it again and that's the um, histogram we don't really use that but it can show you if something's overexposed. That's a balance, so if I tilt this a little bit, you see the balance move. And then it keeps it all blank so you have nothing distracting you while you're shooting. But usually I leave it on this so that I know what my exposure is and how much time I have on the battery and all those things. All right, so uh, to change your exposure, you can do that by clicking here or on top. You can push this button on top and turn the dial to change your exposure. That's the way I do it because I'm used to these kind of controls, but if you want to use the touch screen, feel free to do that. Okay, so to operate the record, you uh, in this mode, say this is the other mode, this is the photo mode where you look through the viewfinder, take still photos. This is the mode you use for video and it lights up the screen. To start recording, you press here and the little red light comes on, then you've got a little timer, uh, time code clicking off there four or five, six seconds, and you hit the button again to stop recording. Okay, this is the controls for the zoom of the lens. Okay, so for example, we're gonna go ahead and record, and I'll use this in the video. Here's, here's the zoom at 18, and then if we zoom in to uh, 135, that's what it looks like very tight, okay? And right now we have the autofocus set, so it's autofocusing uh, on the subject. Here we are zoomed out all the way, you can see the Christmas tree there, 
you know, on the on the right, and you push in a little bit more, turning the lens, and that gives you a little bit more uh, a tighter shot. Okay, here we go. This is Cody. Here's the bone for Cody. And look at getting the exposure right here. Okay, so on the back viewfinder on this camera, obviously it doesn't look very good, showing camera one pointing at the main camera. But what we're going to do is try to get our exposure correct. So I'm going to change the exposure on the camera that's shooting the other camera to give you a more realistic look at what's going on inside. Now this is much closer to the actual exposure. Look at the exposure in that camera. All right, so main, main thing you got to do here is when you're trying to get this to work right, you want to, what you see is what you get here. Now outdoor, you're going to have to shade it with your hand. And also you can pop the window out and turn it like if you if you want to you can pop this window out like this turn it around and face it in other directions when you're shooting like low low angle high angle you can t tilt it the other way to have to look up at it so it's very effective for those sort of things okay so here's your lens control now you guys are going to need to learn how to do manually focusing so I'll show you guys a little manual focus it's a little switch here you turn it from AF to, man to MF which is manual focus and this here is the image stabilizer, which I've turned off because it's on a tripod. But the image stabilizer helps stabilize the image while you're shooting. Okay, so here we are. We're going to zoom in, or zoom out a little bit. Here we are zooming in. And I'm going to try to tilt the camera down slightly to look at Cody here while he's chewing on the bone. Okay, and I'm going to tilt, I tilt it down, and now I'm going to pan slightly to the right. Okay, so now we're in manual focus mode. The manual focusing is done with this ring right here. There's a larger ring, and then there's a more narrow ring here, which is for manual focus. Okay. Okay, so there he is right there. He appears to be in focus about right there, as he's shown on that bone. All right. Pretty sharp. Now, one of the things I've noticed most of my students end up doing is they shoot everything really wide like this and get close to the subject. You're much better off using the telephoto action of these lenses to, to push in and zoom in on your subjects, okay? Not necessarily zooming while you shoot, but using it uh, to get tighter shots and cleans up the background. Like here, this is very cluttered. Here, this is not cluttered at all. It's very clear and sharp and isolating your subject, okay? Like I said, you need to maintain 30 to a second at 5.6. Now, outdoor, this is going to have to go way up. This, this speed will have to go much higher because of the light sensitivity uh, outside. But here we're at 3,200, and that's because we're indoor. Okay, I'll push and show you guys more setting controls. Okay, see all these controls come back up. Here's ISO, dialing it this way, as I've shown you. Here we go, and go back to 3,200 right there. Okay, but the problem is the higher ISO you get, the lower the quality usually is. Okay, so here we're going to go back, start recording again. Here we are recording one more time as Cody chews on that big bone. All right, so some of the other things you need to watch for is we want to always be on manual exposure. Okay, manual exposure, you're setting all your controls here on automatic is right there. And it will take over and automatically set your exposure, but you don't want to use that. Because you are a filmmaker, filmmakers always work on manual. Keep it on manual and manually focus the lens like this until it looks sharp and stopping when it's in focus on the dog like that. 